little bit about my career. I was an aerospace and defense guy. Uh, worked for Boeing for and Boeing successor companies for 25 years or so. Ran their network and space portfolio, a lot of satellites, a lot of NASA work. I think I saw uh, some folks. And uh, in July of this year, I retired from Boeing and I took over the CEO position at this company called Lidos, which is really the old SAIC. So if you don't know, if you haven't heard what Lidos is, if our CIOs over here, uh, we spun out our services business um, into a standalone company. And when we spun out services, we spun the name SAIC with it. It's before I got here. And we renamed the 45-year-old company that you might know as SAIC. Part of our story um, as Lidos is really the application of technology and how we develop technology and how we apply that technology really is what drives our revenue and our growth. And we do about $400 million of what we would call 6263 work uh, that's funded by the federal government that does what we'll call applied R&D versus what you might do in a university environment. And it develops intellectual property that we give to the government for free, but we get what we call government purpose rights. But we can use the technology that we develop under government contracts and take them to non-government markets. And so our cyber business is a huge example of that. We do the head of train box for Norfolk, Norfolk Southern. So the, the, what would be the black box for every locomotive in Norfolk Southern. But this idea about energy storage and energy density, so the ability of, of battery technology to evolve. You know, we can now create a battery, put it in a device, and expect that device to transmit RF for 15 years without a battery replacement. And I brought a, I brought a prop, because um, I think this is just talks about kind of where the leading edge is. And this is just the beginning, right? Uh, you know, how many of us have a, a chip in our dog, right? So we do a lot in healthcare. We look at population health. We're looking at home healthcare. And we just foresee the day where the whole healthcare experience changes by what we can do with processing technology and battery technology. Because in this world, how we do innovation and how we develop technology has completely changed.